Ruth Simon after the 3 1 win against Hendersford. Must be very happy with that result. Yeah, yeah, I, I was uh, very happy with both the result and the performance, but you know, it's all about uh, the results at this stage, isn't it? 16 games to go, and we needed the win uh, to keep in with that front pack, and um, we got the three points and delighted with everything today. I think we saw one thing from straight from the kickoff, and that was how hard the team were prepared to battle. Is that something that you've been mentioning in the changing room? That's right, yeah, we've been trying to get that squad together that. Uh, very intense in the work rate and um, I think that's sometimes the difference between halfway up the table and, and leading the, uh, the you know the front group at the top of the table uh, it's that consistent intensity of work rate and it seems to fortune that it, it seems to um, favour the teams that uh, who's got the, the best work rate in the league and I think today we just wanted it, wanted it so much the first and second balls everyone was put it in it was, it was good did you think that the break obviously against Corin Bay actually did the team some good because they seemed to be so full of running straight from the off that Henderson seemed to be taken by surprise by that? Well, I, I've just said to the lads, I, they looked a, a decent team, you know, in that first 25 minutes, but I thought we worked hard and we took our chances. And then that gave us a little bit of breathing space and confidence to go on from there. But throughout the game, the work rate was immense. And yeah, last week being called off may have uh, given the lads, a, we gave the lads a weekend off and that may have recharged the batteries somewhat because uh, some of them do quite a bit of travelling. Got to mention Dan Clayton, I mean he came on for his sort of like his second debut so to speak and that run for the first goal and that cross to cross from the, yeah. the corner flag, amazing. Yeah, how he turned that back, I don't know how he did it really but um, he's a threat going forward, he's full of energy and legs and you know, you saw him track back there in the last couple of minutes and that's what we want here at the club, you know, you know local lads who you know, are willing to, to do that work, but whether it's local or whether it's in Dwayne, he's travelling a long way, you know, it's, it's that attitude that we want, um, there's no substitute for it, it certainly can take you a long way. One player that seems to come in for a bit of a battering sometime, Chris Hall, again, you know, deserved his man of the match. Yeah, well he's not coming for a battering from me, you know, he's, <laughs> he's scored two goals today, but uh, his work, work rate today epitomised his work rate throughout the season. He's been a big man up, up there uh, for us and I thought he got his rewards and he was in the right place at the right time uh, today and he, he could have scored more, um, but two's enough today so we're happy with that. And on to Geisley again on Tuesday, that's going to be another difficult match. It's always a difficult game at Geisley, um, I think it'll be quite a heavy pitch, they've had a few games called off so we'll see. Look at that. be looking at the forecast the next uh, couple of days, uh, but we'll be wanting the game on as I'm sure they will be and it'll be a good local derby, they've got some very good players and uh, hopefully we won't concede the, the penalties that we did last time and we can come away with a result. That's great, thank you very much Simon. Thank you, cheers.